Today we're doing Shaggy versus Liberian. Let's begin. First contestant. Liberian was able to easily defeat his opponent, despite his opponent kind of having to drop on him. He was easily able to di to disperse his opponent with a fury of blows, softening them up with his kicks. Then, when he was di was discombobulated, he finished him off with a kick to the ribs. According to the description of this video, he actually broke some of his ribs with that kick. Very impressive. Next, we have Shaggy. He was able to defeat his opponent similar to Liberian. His opponent kind of got the drop on him, but that doesn't but that didn't stop him from grappling a hold on him and raining down a series of blows, forcing his opponent to the ground, maneuvering around him, finishing him off with a couple of more punches, then threw him away. Lit uh, literally, sa literally, safe to say he won the fight. Alright, our combatants are very impressive. Both were able to take out men who will probably outweigh them by quite a bit. Despite the fact that both look like stick figures, they were easily able to take out these men, who more than likely almost weigh 200 pounds, proving once again that size doesn't matter. But let's see whose size matters in this fight. Let's break it down. Now, I'm not going to be racking my brain for a while. At first glance, these two seem equally matched. Both fight dang near the same. Both don't block or have no regard of their opponent hitting them back. They fight like wild animals almost, just punching and kicking until they get lucky. But underneath the surface, both seem to be very skilled. Shaggy was able to easily maneuver around his opponent. And Liberian is able to find weak spots as he was able to find an opening in his opponent's stance and crack his ribs with his kick. That kick would do some serious damage if it hit anybody. It's really tough to decide. And to be honest, I can't really give a concrete answer, especially considering they defeated their opponent quite easily. Shaggy's beatdown wouldn't even classify as a fight. It legit doesn't even fit the definition to opposing forces. There was nothing imposing about defeating this big man. Yes, he was bigger, probably stronger, but he's way too old. That's honestly the main reason why Shaggy won the fight. Now, to be fair, Shaggy is very skilled. I'm not going to take that away from him, but still, I can't ignore that this old guy, not only can he flat out not fight, but he didn't I'm pretty sure a regular amount of people could defeat him. I can't say the same thing about Liberian. Though, unlike Shaggy, his opponent put up more of a fight. He was able to easily get a couple of hits in. Of course, and the Liberian defeated him easily, but it, it definitely brings things into perspective. However, it comes down to two factors. The first factor is their fighting styles. Shaggy was able to defeat his opponent by grappling a hold of him. Though unlike his opponent put up more of a fight, he was able to get a couple of hits in. Of course, the Liberian defeated him easily, but it definitely brings things into perspective. However, it comes down to two factors. The first factor is that their fighting styles. Shaggy was able to defeat his opponent by grappling a hold of him and laying his hands down. He doesn't appear to be comfortable striking his opponent until they're in a compromised position or until he has a hold of them. He was also able to maneuver around his opponent. His opponent appeared to stop Shaggy from punching him. However, it didn't help. Shaggy was able to re immediately react to, his, to this maneuver around around him and throw him on the ground easily. He's pretty slow, but I'm confident Shaggy can do this to another. After all, he got behind him really fast. He'll probably be able to do the same thing to Liberian. Speaking of him, Liberian should be able to actually get off or at the very least stop Shaggy from grabbing him because his opponent attempted the same thing and was met with a hammer or fist. But this is where the problem comes in. As you continue to watch Liberian fight, he seems to pause a lot, likely setting up his kicks, and he a a actually appears to stop fighting his opponent multiple times in order to find an opening or set up more attacks. Unfortunately, this is a weakness Shaggy will be able to exploit. As you can see in Shaggy's fight, he's able to react to anything. Liberian needs time to think and set up his attacks. Unfortunately, Shaggy will not give him the time to do that. The moment Liberian shows an opening, Shaggy will be able to grab it and grab him, take him down, and hammer him. He'll finish Liberian within seconds. Shaggy appears to be stronger. He defeated his opponent, mainly punching him. Liberian's punches were decent, and he'll be able to fight off Shaggy off. 
but they're not going to be able to finish Shaggy off. If he doesn't, if he doesn't start kicking immediately when Shaggy is down, Shaggy, Shaggy will be able to quickly react and take Liberian down. So before I get to the conclusion of the fight, I just want to say this. We have no idea what these two men are truly capable of. It's hard to see if they will be able to react to each other's attacks. They don't really show a lack of skill. Just they didn't really fight anyone or they would need to show off their abilities. As you can see, both are very skilled. Both were able to defeat their opponents quite easily. It's possible that both of them are very strong and we haven't even seen them at full power. But unfortunately, I can't go off assumptions. I have to go off with what I see in an actual fight. Both show equal amount of skill. And again, we haven't seen him at full power, so it's hard to see who would truly win if they were able to actually fight. However, based on what we know, I have to give it to Shaggy. Like I said, I think Bloodlusted Liberian should be able to win. If he starts kicking from the start, and considering Shaggy doesn't appear to block anything, then his kicks are able to stagger his opponent and even crack bones. He shouldn't be able to take this easily. Even if Shaggy is able to react, he will be discombobulated or dazed or probably won't recover enough to prevent Liberian from finishing him. However, in character, he isn't going to do that. He should be able to stop Shaggy from grabbing him. But the moment he stops, even for a second, Shaggy is going to find that opening. He'll easily be able to take him down before the Liberian can react. Like I said, we don't know what their true power is full power is so it's hard to say who would win if they were to fight but based on what we see and what we know i give it to shaggy nine times out of ten it definitely won't be an easy victory but shaggy should win more often than not the winner is shaggy but let me know what you think and i'll see you later